Hey guys, welcome to Living It Up. Welcome back to the mountains. We're here in Shimla for the launch of this, the all new Triumph Tiger 1200. And as you can see, this is no small update. This is a full-fledged overhaul. Triumph have thrown everything at this, including the kitchen sink, to take the fight the BMW 1250GS. Starting with the engine, it's a brand new inline triple engine, 1160cc, but it's a lot more powerful, makes 150 PS and 130 Nm of torque. That's 9 PS more and 8 Nm more compared to the old 1200. And more importantly, this one also now features the T-plane crank, which we have first seen on the Tiger 900. These numbers are not half as impressive until you take into account the biggest change, which is the significant amount of weight that this model has lost. This is a colossal 21 kgs lighter than the Tiger 1200. So pretty much every single component on this motorcycle has gone under the knife. So you have an engine, which is obviously lighter, more powerful. You have an all new chassis, which has a separate subframe. In fact, even the pillion foot pegs are removable. You have an all new swing arm, which is both rigid and lighter at the same time. You also get semi-active Showa suspension at the front and back. You get the Brembo Stylemar calipers made into 320 mm disc. You get all sorts of creature comforts like cruise control, you get heated grips, you get a bi-directional quick shifter, the whole flurry of electronic aids in terms of cornering ABS, cornering traction control, you get riding modes, you get cornering lights. All of these things as standard on all the models which are now going to be on sale in India for the Tiger 1200. To look at the range as a whole, it's mainly split up into two main categories as you can see here you have the gt range and the rally range the gt is obviously more road focused it's more for touring so you get a 19 inch front and 18 inch rear alloy wheels and 200 mm of travel whereas with rally as the name suggests it's more off-road focus so you get 220 mm of travel at the front and the back and more importantly this is the most focused tiger 1200 ever so this is the first one to get a 21 inch front and an 18 inch rear tubeless spoke wheels and then what distinguishes the pro models from the explorer models is the fact that explorers are more of the flagship in this range and the explorers come with a bigger 30 liter tank compared to the 20 liter on the pro model they also get more creature comforts in terms of heated seats for the rider as well as the pillion and more importantly they get radar operated blind spot detection as we have seen on the multi strata v4s but unlike the ducati this one doesn't get a radar at the front so you don't get radar operated cruise control but you do get a tire pressure monitoring system as standard and extra crash protection so there you have it that's the tiger 1200 all the changes all the improvements on paper so I for one cannot wait to swing my leg over on both the GT as well as the Rally to see what all these changes have brought to the table. So without further ado, let's go and ride. I have to admit, never, even my wildest dreams did I imagine that the 1200 would make such a big step. So much so that I would almost consider it a gross injustice comparing it to the old 1200. They are worlds apart. I mean the 1200 was a fantastic touring bike but it was really heavy and you really felt that bike. Especially when you went off-road, that's when it really came apart. That's when you felt that it was really top heavy. When you want to turn the bike you had to be really careful or it would drop very very suddenly. Now that is all history because the Rally Pro 1200, I mean, the first thing which stood out was just everything they have done to the geometry. So now the engine sits a little bit lower and a little bit further. Even the rider sits a little bit further ahead. 
So you have a lot more feedback, a lot more feel coming from the front tire. The biggest change I feel is it's so much more progressive, especially when you're tipping it in really technical sections. I mean, Mr. Parma, this was my very first chance to ride with him and the three trails which he had chosen, they were proper technical trails. Yeah, you're riding pretty much everywhere in the first and second gear. I was really, really surprised, especially going on really tight U-turns uphill, just how composed the bike felt. It was so much more progressive. You felt so much more confident going into the corner, tipping the bike into the corner. The second thing, of course, which really helps it is the suspension. I think I'm gonna stick my neck out and say that this is by far the best suspension I've experienced on an adventure motorcycle especially in the semi-active trim because the damping is phenomenal and I also love the fact that it adjusts the preload so once you sit on the motorcycle it takes a note of the amount of sag that you require and then when you're even when you're going through different modes or you're going to different terrains even if you jump the bike it resets the sag to where it should be so it is beautifully balanced it doesn't dive like crazy when you're on the hard braking And the last part of the equation is of course the 21 inch front wheel which makes a big big difference in terms of how capable it makes the 1200 because again the terrain that we were on the trails a lot of it were really really rocky and i could not believe the amount of speed that we could carry we were just gliding over anything in our wake and on the engine front i got to try the rally as well as the rally pro mode the latter one allows you to switch off the traction control, switch off the ABS. And even that was fantastic because that gave me an idea about how well the T-plane crank works because you had really good tractability even when you had very poor grip. It makes it a lot easier to put the power down. And another thing which I would love to highlight is the combined braking. So the front is linked to the rear. So when you're using the front, you're also engaging the rear. And the braking, as expected, is phenomenal. I mean, to be honest, we'll know more when we hit the road. But so far, whatever I've seen, I love the progression, I love the feel, I love the bite. If I have to nitpick, the only thing I would say is, in terms of the way you are feathering the clutch, if you're not very careful, uh, yeah, you stall the bike quite often. So the fueling lowdown can be better. And talking about the clutch, I also felt the clutch was on the heavier side. A lighter clutch would go a long way in making it even more easy to ride this bike in more technical trails. So that's the Rally Pro 1200 for you. Super impressive. And now I'm more than keen to figure out how this setup uh, in the GT Pro with the 19 inch front does on the road. There's only one way to find out. Let's go ride. As you can see, we are back in Shimla after an epic day of riding the all new Tiger 1200. And all the things that I liked on the Rally Pro seem to be highlighted even more on the GD Pro in terms of just how well balanced this machine is, how well the suspension works, how amazing the brakes are. And of course, in corners, it's even more fun because you now have the 19 inch front wheel. It tipped into corners very quickly, did not require a lot of effort felt really sure footed and if anything that just highlights just how good the suspension is on this bike also you have the other creature comforts the quick shifter on this they have fixed it on the old 1200 it was quite jerky but now that has all been taken care of because the quick shifter on this is buttery smooth we never really could carry that much speed because that's just how the terrain is it's just one turn after the other so i cannot tell you how good the windscreen is for that we'll have to wait for the comprehensive review but um, yeah, the riding position is really nice and comfortable. The seats are nice and comfy for the rider as well as Pillion. Arvin, who's holding the camera, was my Pillion again on this trip as well. And yeah, it did really, really well. Another thing which really impressed me after riding a GT Pro in the city was the heat management. It doesn't really heat up as much as the old 1200. And more importantly, you never feel any of the hot air coming on to you. I think whatever they've done now with uh, these ducts, when the radiator fans do kick in, they basically suck out all the hot air away from the rider. 
what really worked for the Rally Pro in terms of the new engine and the new T-plane crank, giving you that much more tractability when you're riding in the dirt, when you hit the road, I think you could see the other side of the T-plane, which even though you have more tractability, what you are sacrificing in return is you're getting more vibrations. They creep in around 5,000 RPM. And the, the engine overall felt vibier compared to the old Tiger 1200, which was known to be buttery smooth all through the way. The fueling, again, on this, I felt was just when you first touch the throttle, it is a little too sensitive. So the fueling low down, again, can be a little bit better. Personally, if I had to choose between the GT Pro and the Rally Pro, I would undoubtedly go with the Rally Pro because of the capability that the 21-inch front wheel and the 220mm of suspension unlocks. The only thing which might keep people away from the Rally Pro is, of course, its 875mm seat height in the lower position. Whereas on the GD Pro, it is more manageable 850mm in the lower setting. Of course, you can get it down with the, uh, the lower seat option, which will reduce it by 20mm. Big kudos to Triumph, also in terms of the pricing, because this one right here, the GT Pro, will be retailing at 19 lakhs, 19,000, which is very competitive pricing given all the componentry, all the luxuries that come short with as standard, yeah? And the Rally Pro is another lakh, that's like 20 lakh, 19,000, which I think is very, very good value for money for all the things it brings to the table. And if you are, more of a long distance guy, if you want the Explorer, then that costs another lakh and a half more for each of these two variants. But there you have it guys. That's my first impression from this epic day here in Shimla riding this all new Tiger 1200. Let us know what you think about this video. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Until then, ciao.